Konnichiwa minasan. Hello friends, how are you? Welcome to Saral Japani YouTube channel, which is a channel of Japanese language learning for beginners. And I am your co-traveler on this learning path. I am Sujoy Chatterjee. Hello. Today is lesson 32 of this series. And today's topic is vegetables. In today's lesson, we shall learn Japanese words for various common vegetables that we consume in our daily life. And we shall look at certain aspects of these vegetables, frame simple sentences for them. So let's get started. Lesson 32 vegetables. In the last lesson, we had studied about fruits and colors and words for these and those and framed sentences using all these. So today we shall continue framing sentences, but today with vegetables. So vegetables, what do we call vegetables in Japanese? It's yasai. Yasai is vegetables in Japanese. Yasai. Ya sa i. Yasai. So these are vegetables. So how do we say that? Kore rava yasai des. Kore rava yasai des. Kore rava yasai des. These are vegetables. Kore ra means these. Wa yasai des are vegetables. Kore rava yasai des. These are vegetables. So we now look at individual vegetables. The first one is carrot. Carrot is called ninjin in Japanese. Ninjin in Japanese. And this is the kanji for carrot. And the purpose of including it here is that if you see the first symbol, this is the person radical. So why this person radical has come here? Because the shape of this carrot is like a human body. The basic structure is like a human body, and that's why the human radical, the person radical has been used in carrots kanji. So this represents the nin and this represents jin. So nin jin is carrot and this is the person radical that is used here. The second one is radish, which is called daikon in Japanese, daikon. And again, we have studied this kanji symbol which is for big or large size, and this is called dai, dai kon. So this is the kanji for kon, this is the kanji for dai, and kon means root. So dai kon means big root. So radish is basically big root in Japanese, dai kon. Next is pumpkin. Pumpkin is called kabocha in Japanese, kabocha. Pumpkin is orange. How do we say that in Japanese? Kabocha wa orange des. Kabocha wa orange des. Kabocha wa orange des. Pumpkin is orange. So here the orange represents color. And as we studied last time, color is called iro in Japanese. So pumpkin is orange. Kabocha wa orange des. Wow, brinjal, what a size. Nas. Nas means brinjal in Japanese, and sometimes it is called nasubi as well. Nas or nasubi is brinjal, and the sentence we are using here is this brinjal is purple, which means kono nasu wa murasaki des. So here this represents adjective. So which brinjal? This brinjal. So here this is an adjective and that's why in place of korewa it becomes kono. Kono naswa murasaki des. This brinjal is purple. Kono naswa murasaki des. Murasaki is purple color that we studied in the last lesson. This brinjal is purple. Kono naswa murasaki des. Cucumber or kyuri. Cucumber is called kyuri in Japanese. These are green cucumbers. We call it as kore rava midori iro no kyuri des. So pay attention here, friends. Kore ra, kore rava means these. Midori iro, midori iro means green color. Midori is green, iro is color. Midori iro no kyuri. So now here 
this particle no is used, which represents position. So this may not be easily understood by English speakers because this is not present here. We can directly say these are green cucumbers, but in languages like Japanese, Hindi or any other language. This green color is associated with this object by this position based particle. So same is the case with uh, some of the Indian languages as well. We use similar particle to connect the color with the. The object, uh, the the property of the object with it. So here you have to pay attention that this no will be forming part of this phrase. Midori irono kyuri. Midori irono kyuri means green colored, green colored cucumber. These are green colored cucumbers. Kore rava midori irono kyuri des. So you cannot omit this no. If you write kore rava midori iro kyuri des, it will be wrong. Midori irono kyuri des. Next is taro. Taro is called sato imo. Sato imo is called taro. So imo is the family of such vegetables which are basically taro roots or the yams. So this is the family of imo. So taro is called sato imo. Similarly, mountain yam is called yama imo. Yama imo. So yam, taro, all these are the same family of imo. And mountain yam, yam, yama. I'm sorry, friends. This is written as sato imo. So actually, it should have been yama imo. So the kanji is here, yama imo. So yama, you can see this is for mountain, the kanji for mountain, which we have learned in our kanji lessons. So since this imo is grown in the mountain, so the name has been given as yama imo. This is wrongly written here. Sato Imo is written here. This should have been Yama Imo. Sorry for that. Mountain Yam and then we have sweet potatoes or it's called Satsuma Imo. Satsuma Imo again. This is a kind of Imo, although it's a sweet potato, but it's again of the same Yam or family. So it's Satsuma Imo, Satsuma Imo. And also it is called purple Yam, which is Murasaki Imo. Murasaki is purple color and Imo is Yam. Purple Yam or Murasaki Imo. Now spinach, very commonly used green leafy vegetable. It's called Horenso in Japanese. Horenso. 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 Spinach. Horenso. Bottle gourd is called Heotan. Heotan. Bitter gourd is called reishi. Reishi. Bitter gourd, reishi. Then we have corn or sweet corn, which is called tomorokosh. Tomorokosh, corn or sweet corn. Then we have the beans family. In general, beans, peas, lentils, and pulses, all these are called mame so each one of these is mame and there are specific names as well which are prefixed to mame but as a family or in a generic sense all any beans is called mame so this is the family of beans called mame and since this is a beginner's course so we won't go into details of each of these individually in a later lesson when we move on to the advanced course we shall be uh, learning individual words for each of these beans and pulses so for the time being pulses beans lentils peas everything is mame green onions or scallions called negi in japanese negi and the normal onions are called tamanegi so tama means marble. So maybe because of the appearance, the internal appearance, like a mar marble, it is called tamanegi. Ginger is called shoga. Shoga is ginger, and ninnik is garlic. Ninnik. 
ninnik is garlic friends till now the vegetables that we have studied they have japanese names because these vegetables are grown in japan and these have been present in japan for centuries so there are japanese origin words for those vegetables now we shall look at some common vegetables which were not originally grown in japan because of which there are no japanese origin words for these vegetables so that means these are imported vegetables from outside of japan and uh, the names are also thus imported into japanese using katakana script so we shall look at some of the common and important vegetables which are sourced from foreign lands and hence the names are also from foreign origin the first in this series is potatoes potatoes in japanese they call it poteto now as i said in the last lesson that there is no plural singular plural form for the objects that's why potatoes will not become potatoes it will remain as poteto poteto potatoes poteto similarly broccoli or broccolis it will become broccoli 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 cabbage is called cabbets cabbets in japanese cabbets very very popular and common vegetable although it doesn't have a japanese word but still it is very popularly consumed in japan cabbets cabbage lettuce retas retas tomatoes tomato tomato so these tomatoes are red korera no tomato wa akai desu so this we have done in the last lesson as well so this is just as a revision korera no tomato wa akai desu korera no tomato wa akai desu these tomatoes are red korera no tomato wa akai desu bell pepper is called piman in japanese now piman as you can see it's not english word and also it is not written in hiragana but in katakana so that means it is from a foreign language but not from english it's actually from french word piment or piman it is pronounced as piman in french as well so from there this pronunciation and the corresponding katakana word has appeared in japanese piman 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 means bell pepper or green pepper then we have the normal green chilies or just chilies which is called chiri in japanese chiri it's it's not found it's not grown in japan it's basically imported from outside and japanese people they don't even use it so it is used in japan it is consumed in japan by the foreigners who reside there and they get it from outside cilantro is called coriander in japanese and that is from the english word coriander coriander or cilantro it is called coriander in japanese so friends that's all for today so we have learned about many commonly used vegetables uh, their corresponding japanese words so please revise this video again and again and try to write them down in your notebook so that you have a vocabulary formed of vegetables and also the fruits that we discussed in the last lesson and along with the along with their colors so that will uh, help you in memorizing the names of fruits vegetables and colors so till we meet in the next lesson 33 do keep revising and practicing and we shall be back with the next lesson soon till then goodbye arigatou gozaimasu mata imashou